Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Right, in this video I just want to talk about what an Antichrist is. Because there's a lot of faulty understanding about what an Antichrist is. You know, a lot of people are quick to point out who is an Antichrist, right? Like this guy here says that uh, Final Call 07 is an Antichrist, which is correct because Final Call 07 says that Jesus Christ is not human thus claiming that Jesus Christ did not come in the flesh, so Final Call 07 is an Antichrist. But the texts in Scripture have much more meaning to them, friends, than someone else just being an Antichrist. Because you personally must confess that Jesus Christ came in the flesh, otherwise there is no evidence to suggest that you are not an Antichrist. No evidence. Because let's read the Scriptures. Sorry, I thought I was prepared there. It says in 1 John 4, 2, Hereby know ye the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And then it goes on to say, And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. You personally, must confess that Jesus Christ came in the flesh, otherwise there's no evidence. There's no evidence to suggest, to suggest that you're not an Antichrist. Until you see, publicly see someone doing that, you have no evidence. And uh, because it says here, for many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, this is a deceiver and an Antichrist. And uh, I just want to show you something. Right, this is from this guy, Cherubim Church, right? This guy said to me, right, he was calling me a blasphemer here, he said, You are a blasphemer, I hope you know this. I have admitted that Jesus is God in the flesh. No Antichrist spirit can ever admit this. That is not what the text says, friends. That's not what the text says. The text says, Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh is of God. Jesus Christ. You must say Jesus Christ. Do you know why it's very important, friends? Because it says in Corinthians, another Jesus can be preached. Second Corinthians 11, 4, for if he that confesseth, eh, sorry, for if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, when we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit which ye have not received, or another gospel which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. You see, we see from this text here that another Jesus can be preached. You know, even demons can say that Jesus is God come in the flesh. Even demons can say that, friends. So that's why I would encourage people, encourage Christians, to seek a, seek a confession from people, man. Seek a confession. And get them to confess it exactly the way the text says it. And the text says, Jesus Christ came in the flesh, friends. Jesus Christ. Not just Jesus alone, Jesus Christ. Because there is another Jesus being preached on YouTube, friends, and it's not the Jesus of the Bible. And by the way, see here, see how this guy says, do you, that, do you trust that Jesus Christ is God come in the flesh? There's still no confession that he there's, he, there's still no evidence to suggest that this guy has confessed that Jesus Christ came in the flesh. And also, see here, faith alone in Christ alone, you need to be careful with that as well, friends. Because it better be faith alone in the true Lord Jesus Christ of the Bible alone because there's a false Christ being preached. Be careful friends, test the spirit to see if they're of God. Test the spirits to see if they're of God. Right, see just to end this video, I want to confess these verses here, right? Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God and everyone that loveth him, that begat loveth him also that is begotten of him. I believe that Jesus is the Christ, the only Christ. 1 John 4, 2 Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. I confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. 1 John 4, 15 Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. I confess that Jesus is the Son of God. And also, I do believe that Jesus was God manifest in the flesh. And I would just like to let you know, I have been guilty of not testing the spirits in my life. Testing people that I meet that claim to be a Christian. Testing their spirit. 
to see if they are of God. And what I can see is people don't do it. Christians do not do it. They don't confront people with these scriptures in the book of John that say you are an antichrist if you do not confess that Jesus Christ came in the flesh. You know, and if you never hear someone confess these verses, how can you assume that they are not an antichrist if you've never heard them confess them? And also, by the way, be careful because some people will uh, throw out red herrings when you confront them with these verses. They will try and deflect your attention somewhere else. Or they will confess the verses in such a way where it does not match the verses. They will twist the scriptures and not confess them exactly the way the scriptures say them. So be careful friends and I encourage you to test the spirits to see if they are of God. Because scripture commands us to do so. God bless.